Hey there guys, DeAndre A. Town. Welcome to another episode of Subtract Reactions. We're subtract the bullshit and give you guys honest reactions. So today I'm going to be reacting to the newest episode of Final Space. This is episode 5, titled Chapter 5. And uh, actually, this might not be the newest episode of Final Space. Because I'm starting to see comments of people saying that, like, apparently Chapter 6 is already out. And, um, like, I don't know, I guess it's available on the internet. But I'm watching this shit off the TV. Loving the show so far. All the characters have great dynamics with each other. Um, I really want to see Kevin, like, step up, though. Like, I really want to see more of Kevin, you know what I mean? Like, yes, he's goofy, yes, he's crazy, yes, he's zany, but I don't know. Like, I really want to see him become more of, like, a main focus in mission and shit like that. But he's fucking insane. I just want to see the characters have more faith in Kevin, that's what I'm saying. I really want to see Quentin get ready to dynamic grow closer. Um, I'm ready for that shit to happen. I'm ready for those sparks to start flying. I know that's very cliche and shit, but I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. Gary's been a prisoner on this shit for five fucking years, making video takes only to find out that she's not seen any of them. Come on, man. He needs to get with her ass. He's fucking funny. He's fucking cool. Everybody has their own fucking like narrative story arcs of why they're doing what they're doing. You know what I mean? And I want to see them grow. I want to see Avocado grow. I want to see Quinn grow. I want to see Gary grow. I want to see Kevin grow. Fucking, uh, what's his name? Lord Commander. Even him. You know what I mean? I love to hate him. I love to hate him. Gary had this fucking flashback about his dad and that shit was fucking tragic and shit like that. Sometimes this show feels like Interstellar, I'm not gonna lie, like the feels, the cinematography, the music, it's very ambient and stuff like that. Yo, the music itself is fucking lit as hell. I'm just gonna say this right now, I think we need an official soundtrack release of Final Space that needs to fucking happen. We need more soundtrack releases for cartoons, I'm just gonna fucking say that right now. Okay, KO, if anybody out there watches that fucking show, the soundtrack to that show is fucking lit. You can listen to that shit on SoundCloud. I wanna see an official release of that show though. I wanna buy the CD for that shit, you know what I mean? I buy soundtracks, okay? I believe the composer of the show is Shelby Mary. I'm gonna have the Twitter, like, right here. I hope that I'm fucking pronouncing that name right. I hope that's the actual name of the composer. The music stumped as fuck in this show, and she fucking kills it. I think there's a co-composer as well, but I'm just saying, like, when it, regardless, the fucking team that makes the music for the show, they fucking kill it, and we need an official soundtrack release. We get movie soundtrack releases, you know what I mean? Interstellar, fucking Hans Zimmer. Ah! Oh, Hans Zimmer's fucking amazing, though. Hans Zimmer's amazing. The fucking Inception soundtrack. The fucking Dark Knight trilogy soundtrack. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm just not, I'm a huge fucking music fan. Michael Giacchino, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, it's either Giacchino or Giacchino, I don't know. Anyway, the composer, the guy that did Lost, okay, I love Lost. Now I'm gonna end this music tangent on this fucking quote that Jorge Garcia that played early off of Lost said when he was talking about the music of the show, and I quote, the show will make you sad, but the music will make you cry. And as soon as he said that, he fucking resonated with me, I was like, oh man! Jorge Garcia, you get it! Ah, yes! The music in that show is fucking fantastic. Lost is so fucking amazing just from the soundtrack alone. I fucking love it! I love that show! Also, listen to all the Uncharted soundtracks. Greg Edmondson kills that dick. I'm sorry. Greg Edmondson did Firefly too. I'm sorry. Oh! Bear McCreary, he does the music for The Walking Dead. Listen to his soundtrack scores from Terminator the Sarah Connor Chronicles. <laughs> Final Space, followed by an all new episode of AMC's The Walking Dead, followed by. <laughs> that fucking Here piano! We have five minutes of oxygen left. I lived a good life. Medium to good, slash borderline crabby. Saw some side boob once. That was cool. <laughs> some Dude, side boob. Have you ever seen side boob? That PG 13 line. No, Gary. The more you talk, the more oxygen you. You're missing out. <laughs> I guess it wasn't all that bad. In fact, I take it back. I lived a good one. Of course! This is... Thank you! My life sucks! Oh my god, dude! I swear to god, Gary better listen to these intros, man! Come on! This is where Captain Gary wields the great giant scepter of power. You're not a captain. Communication output requested. Requesting a communications output, are we? You really know how to press. <laughs> oh my buttons. god, dude. Press. Oh. It is never going to happen between us. <laughs> ever. That was painfully short. And clear. Come on, Quinn. Why would you give me a chance? You impersonated a member of the Infinity Guard and blew up 92 Imperium cruisers. That doesn't inspire a lot of trust. Then I guess this precious thing we have between us is not going to work out. I'm sorry. 
Did you just break up with me? Wait, it's <laughs> over. I pulled the Cupid's arrow out, snapped it, and threw it into the breakup flames. Toast a marshmallow and get on with your life. <laughs> he broke up with her. Need the password to the Infinity Card Network? How did you know? How did I know? I'm always listening. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking that creepy. Immediately. Has he been listening this whole time? I can't. The breach has the characteristics of a black hole, and it's growing. You told the Infinity Guard this, and they didn't listen, and they want to arrest you. They're total bad guys. Oh, that shit. smell coming from the Infinity Guard kitchen? A little dish I call corruption. Oh, oh shit, corruption! I called it! Corrupt. I, I called it, y'all heard me. I broke up with you. My patience is whittling away. Whittle away, Tetris. Your words can't hurt me anymore. Wow, how pretty. What is that? Plasmic energy is firing from that planet directly into the breach. If the laser continues, the breach will widen and Earth will be consumed. Oh, shit. Here? That is an infinity guard outpost. It's not a soup. It's not a broth. Oh, ha <laughs> I know. It's a stew. Corruption. <laughs> there has to be a good explanation. We're going. Here. How do we get to the surface? With the captain's finesse. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. this what the hell this is like a Thor Ragnarok planet Alice in Wonderland looking ass what yo I don't know why but I'm getting like some Futurama vibes this is the right place like this really does feel like the Futurama assessing damage the deflector array is offline the power cells are offline the bake shop is offline wait there's a bake shop on this thing what? If I could pour a tall glass of truth juice for you real quick, Quinn, <laughs> I'm not feeling the trust. I only trust three people in this world. My dog, my sister, and every single member of the Infinity Guard. You're insane, wow. my lady. The Infinity Guard tried to kidnap you. And they tried to take over the Galaxy One. And dogs aren't even people. I have no <laughs> reason to trust any of you. So I'm going with the guy literally covered in guns. <laughs> Kevin, Yo. fix the shit. Also, don't touch any of my stuff. Or Quinn stuff. Don't touch anything. Specifically buttons. And especially flamethrowers. <laughs> but do fix the ship. And then die. Okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on, Mooncake. <laughs> he just takes Mooncake with him. Hooray! <laughs> Stop! Stop staring! Flamethrowers! Hooray! Stop burning things! <laughs> <laughs> He's just letting the do whatever the fuck he wants. Dad, these are my coordinates. Come find me. Stupid thing won't work! Be brave. Huh? We're going to get you out of here. Why should I trust you? We share the same enemy. I gotta send a message to my father. Can you amplify my signal? There's a transmitting station. I can show you the way. Run. All right, that shit was fucking crazy. I love how we're keeping tabs on little Kato um, because he's going through some really crazy shit. Everyone's going through some crazy shit, but him specifically, like this mysterious fucking person that's helping him out and everything, it really is important to see. Also, Gary Avocado, Quinn, and the crew's landed on this fucking weird ass fucking planet. It's like a mixture, to me at least, of Thor Ragnarok, Alice in Wonderland. And, like, I don't know. It kind of had, like, some Futurama vibes to it. I don't know why. I don't know why, but to me, the show feels a little bit like Futurama. Oh. <laughs> He's fucking Iron man out. Hey, man. Let me give you some advice, buddy. Yes. If you want Quinn to trust you, you gotta step up and show her you can lead. Make direct eye contact. Then don't let go until you kiss her soul with your eyelashes. Like this. Too much? Or just enough? Oh my wow! Oh my wow! It's glorious! <laughs> yeah. So you got it? I got it! It's done! Done and done! Hi, Quinn. Too little. Oh my god! Just enough. <laughs> Joe. Let's go back to the ship. 
You're not a trained soldier. It's fucking hilarious how they could just turn that on on a whim. Okay. Look, Gary, I'm not trying to be mean. If you get hurt or die, well, that's a responsibility I don't want. That's just the truth. I'm trying to push him away, keep him away, so that way she doesn't build an attachment. I don't think you are. You're right. I'm not. That's what you see a lot of soldiers do. They push a lot of people away so they don't build that attachment just in case they do lose things. Karate chop this magnificent what the hell? Ah, disturbingly agile free bug angel ah, Oh my god just bit me ah, holy, holy shit Oh my god this is like Alice in Wonderland to the max oh. Stay with me ah, He's all we'll tiny until a cure is found ah. Okay give avocado a ride ah. I got your back, Mooncake! <laughs> what was that? I mean, wait, like a little, a little silly string shooting at your gun? Like, I mean, that's, that's like, what were you even trying to accomplish right there? I mean, okay. <laughs> nice. Yes! There we go! Love them slotty physics! Spider! Spider! There's a spider! Oh, and the spider! Nice! I can see this being a game already, dude. Come on! Dear Heavenly Lightning Lord, are you not seeing this? Seeing what? Ugh. Right here. See this. Oh, shit. Are you talking about the giant laser? Because if you're talking about the giant laser, it's a giant laser. I know it's a giant laser. Giant doesn't even begin to describe what I'm seeing. That's what's been creating the gravitational disturbance. I thought the Earth was being sucked into a black hole, but I was wrong. This whole thing is being orchestrated. By who? Or is it whom? Either way, it's probably by some serious bad guy. What a twist! For the galaxy! What?! The Infinity Guard's final authority commanding! With each blast, we get closer to final space. So, keep it up. Good job, Jeff. Hearing... Great things. Yes. The hell do I turn this off? Eric, how do I turn this off? Is it the red knob? Do I turn it left? Eric, stop crying. <laughs> I'm just going to walk away. The Lord Commander has taken over the Infinity Guard. They're destroying Earth. They're... Corrupt! Wow. You. Now do you trust me? No. Now I'm the only person I can trust. And get oh my god. Up. What I like in size, <laughs> I make up for in wisdom. So now that you're <laughs> you like the new like Yoda. or something, whatever. Come on, squad. She needs backup. <clears throat> oh, well, I guess not. I, I guess I could just sit here and pop my lips. What? Beth, I want you to know that this has been the happiest moment yeah. of Kevin's life. I can see it on your face. We are so happy. She is so hot. Stop. Stop staring! So creepy. Now do my bidding. Fix the ship! I will kill Kevin and take Beth for my own. Or for my cold dead hands! Death fight. We got a death fight. Now, where were we? What? 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 He was just letting this fucking happen. I told you. I'm doing nice, it on Gary. my own. Come on, yeah, step up, Gary! You can't spell team without M and E. And you know what that spells. Us. Fine. Fine. A job worth doing is worth doing together. Thank you, Avocado. But a vision <laughs> becomes a nightmare when the leader has a big dream and a bad team. Okay, okay. Shut up with that stuff. I don't even know what you're talking about. Laser activation. A big dream and a bad team. Jeez, oh my gosh. It's Pierce. Come on, babies. Come on, we're running out of time. See, we gotta around. this is what I wanted from Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Like that, oh. like incognito, fucking solid snake, vinegar, solid shit. I love it, man. 
I love this. Oh my god. Do not make a sound Tough titty wampus. What the <laughs> hell is a tough titty wampus? It's probably a rat. Do rats wampus? Tough titty wampus. The big ones do. Hey, you could just make that a wampus a plumpus, am I right? <laughs> oh my god. You're like a tiny little avocado bobblehead. <laughs> Uncle Pop. See, come on, get your vinegar solid on. Lock it down. Think. This is me and every minute this all Nice! Laser activation in 90 seconds. Have you all lost your minds? You're working for the Lord Commander. We're Infinity Guard. The last message of hope in the universe. What you're doing here is going to destroy the Earth. Our home. Stop this. I'm begging you. That's a good speech, but nah. Nah, I ain't having it. Well, I understand. Uh, no way. No way. Uh, yeah. I think we're all no way. We're not. Here. No way. Wow. Yeah, no, nah, we're not stopping. Come on, Gary. You know what to do, Avocado. Hurrah! Hey, there we go. Hey! I'm back, baby. Get it, baby! Nice avocado! Yo! Yes! Hero shot! <laughs> Stone! You traitor! What I do? I did the Infinity God. You devil crossing sphincter sack. Quinn, you can still join us. You're just about the only one who hasn't pledged allegiance to the Lord Commander. Don't do it, Quinn! Don't do it! We have such a good thing going here! I'm not joining him, you freaking weirdo. <laughs> Don't join forces with this guy! Don't <laughs> Why are you doing this? The Lord Commander's seen what's on the other side. Once we break into final space, we'll flood the world with light, and there will be no more death. That's because there will be no more life. At first, but not at second. And don't even get me started on thirdly. Anyway, Quinn, we what? should thank you. What? Your scribbling on a bar napkin allowed us to finally break through the quantum barriers and tear through this universe. So you see, this is all your work. Oh shit, from the first episode! This shit's fucking crazy. The very first episode was she was fucking scribbling shit out. She was scribbling equations on the fucking napkin. I remember that! I remember that in the first episode, chapter one. It's those equations that led to what's happening now. Dude! Fuck, man! Oh, man! Damn! That is some heavy-ass shit. Gary's sticking with her, though. I love that shit. He's stepping the fuck up. I love it when characters have to step up. Gary stepped up. Don't get me wrong. I mean, he's been a prisoner on a ship for five fucking years. So what he's going through now, this is fucking crazy. But in terms of really being there for Queen and having her back and shit like that, some shit might go down. He might even cause some crazy shit to go down. But he always has her back. He's always willing to do whatever it takes to get out of the situation. Plus, he got some Mooncake. Mooncake has her back, too. And the Avocados is there, too. So they make a great fucking team. It's a great fucking team. And little Cotto's fucking escape. Too. He's getting his Metagross Solid shit on. Everybody's getting their Metagross Solid on. That's what this episode should have been called. Metal Gear Final Space. That's what I meant when I said this should have been The Last Jedi. Like, you remember the mission Finn and Rose went on when they had to go to that casino on that one planet and shit like that? Like, take that scene out and replace it with, like, a badass fucking sneaking around Metagross Solid, you know, sleuthing and sneaking and shit, you know what I mean? I don't know, I'm just saying, in The Last Jedi, it would have been really cool to see Finn and Rose getting their Metagross Solid shit on, you know what I mean? They still kind of did... 
But, like, it would have been cool if that entire casino scene was just replaced with, like, a really bomb diggity fucking sneaking around, taking out guards, fucking, you know, changing uniforms and shit. You know what I mean? Just some classic ass sneaking around shit. Cheer up. You won't have to live with the guilt much longer. Because now there's no stopping us from tearing a hole into final space. Commencing laser fire in 30 seconds. Hey, stinker sack! Rock, paper, scissors. I'm not playing this game. Close. Paper. <laughs> Guy just got sucked into a big old butthole. Gary, we got a laser to take out. Uh, okay, okay, let's go! It's all my fault. Quinn, it's not your fault. I can't even trust myself anymore. I'm okay, Quinn. you're digging deep, and there's some real powerful self-discovery stuff going on here, but there's a giant laser about to fire. So if we can just stick a pin in this and pick it up over snacks soonish. Laser activation in 10 seconds. Stone shut out the controls. The laser can't be stopped. you can the music okay and don't worry i have one of these <laughs> oh my god <laughs> why would they connect the nerve <laughs> he feels all of that too yo that was a dramatic ass scene bro. This morning, I did not think I'm going to die, but look at us. Oh my look god, me, look at her. Here we are, a unit dying together. Oh no, wait, look, the guns are on. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. Look at the cost, though, man. He came through. I told you, we fight the same war. <laughs> I'm in. Thanks. I owe you. Dad, these are my coordinates. Come find me. I mean, at your leisure, but like, for me, preferably fast. That'd be great. And send. You did it! You did it. Oh my gosh! You sent your father and Mooncake right to me. No, 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 no! <laughs> What, uh, what are you doing? Starting over. You were right about everything. I know. It's a blessing. <laughs> and my curse. Oh my god. If the Lord Commander corrupted the Infinity Guard, it means there's no good guys left. Yes, there are. Who? Us. Chucky! Healthy people trust. That's right. We need more of that, not less. That's right. But Sounded like a fucking I? leader. You begin right here. With this guy. We're the good guys now. Okay, then. Us. Yeah. <laughs> Us. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, yes, man. man. Yes. That's what I'm fucking talking about, damn it. Yes. No matter what they're going through, they're always a team. That's what's important, man. Damn, dude. Ah. <sighs> That was a fucking good way to end the episode. Definitely need that pickup after the fucking Walking Dead. Oh my god, dude. The Walking Dead, you want to talk about some dramatic ass shit? Do not send us astray. Oh my fucking god. 
Tobin started that shit. Tobin started the outbreak in The Walking Dead. Let me just say that right now. This planet that they were on really did feel like Alice in Wonderland, especially with avocado shrinking down. That shit was pretty hilarious. I love that shit. You know what I mean? They said it grew back to size first. That shit looked like a Funko Pop. I'm just saying it's official. It's canon. You can have a Funko Pop with that fucking scene right there. And at last, we finally see trust established with Gary and Gwen. True trust. It looks like she really does trust him for real. I mean... The shit was fucking crazy. The Infinity Guard's fucking evil, you know what I mean? They're working with fucking Lord Commander. Little Kato! Yo, Little Kato! Oh my god! He just got deceived to the max, dude. What the fuck? God, Little Kato, dude! He's fucking going through it right now, man. I really need to see these guys get a true win. Uh, cause Quinn just went through like some deep ass fucking shit right there. Some self discovery shit, as Gary said. Avocado needs to find his fucking son. They need to take out Lord Commander. But I love to hate Lord Commander. That's the thing. I love him because he's so fucking evil. You know what I mean? Like, I love to hate him. One of those fucking scenarios. But there's like a spark in me. There's a spark in me that really fucking thinks maybe Lord Commander can be changed. Maybe that's like the humanity in me. I'm just saying, Lord Commander, sometimes he has some funny moments in the point where I'm just like, yo, are you really fucking evil or are you just like a product of your environment? And like, can he be changed? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, Lord Commander, he seems like he could be a cool guy under the right circumstances. You know what I mean? But in this situation, I'll fuck him. Like, if I had to, I would kill him. But, like, I would try to talk him out of what the fuck he's doing. You know what I mean? Like, yo, stop this. And then if he did some crazy ruthless shit, then I'd have to fucking kill him. What is the end game, though, for Lord Commander? What is he trying to establish? Final space. What did he see on that other side? You know what I mean? Is it like another universe that they're trying to go to? Obviously, there's something more to life than this, the, the universe that we're in now, in, in terms of how he's seen the world. Is he trying to achieve something that could potentially be beneficial? You know what I mean? I don't fucking know. It's just, it's really complicated shit. Quite frankly, in my opinion, I think everybody just needs to sit down, smoke a blunt, be like, all right, look, what the fuck are we trying to achieve right now? You know what I mean? Kind of like in a That 70s Show scenario. Gary passes the blunt to Lord Commander. He's just like, what the fuck are you trying to do? What am I trying to do? What are we all trying to achieve right now, you know what I mean, what can we all do to satisfy each other without having any more fucking death, you know what I mean, cut to everybody being satisfied, everybody achieving what they're trying to achieve without further death happening due to Lord Commander because he saw the error of his ways because they all just sat down and just like buddied it out, smoked some weed together, bonded and shit, you know what I mean, Gary gets with Quinn, Mooncake's fucking happy, Avocado gets his son back, everybody's just fucking chill, everybody smoking weed, 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 weed. <laughs> the thing is, I don't know how old Mooncake is. I don't know how old Little Kato is. I don't know if it's something you know what I mean. They'd be like, hey, you know, make sure you're old enough to do this. You know what I mean? But like, you know, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm just saying that's a way to just like end all this shit peacefully. But as always, guys, if you like my reaction, you should like and share this video for me. And if you're going to do that, happens in the comment. Tell me what to react to in the future. And if you're going to do that, happens to hit the subscribe button. Go on the family, guys. I look like Jerry off of that last episode of The Rocky Dead. Remember that shit when he was fucking looking at the saviors and he turned around and Matt and he was just like, I'll talk to you guys later. And, uh, yeah, this is getting kind of awkward. I just can't, I can't end the scene. I'm bad at ending videos. I'm just like, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Rick and Morty, look at that. Rick and Morty needs to have some sort of connection, so this is awkward. Hang on, look.